Hey, Shalom. All praise is glory and honors to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Raka Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. I'm your brother Mark Kodak from the Great Millstone Jamaica camp. Quickly say to feel the potential elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Now, I want to I wanna speak about, you know, um, Jake and Owl. You know, for the most part, you know, and, and this is something that I've, I'm, I'm always seeing. You know, sometimes, you know, I get a little bit emotional, you know, not overdoing it though, but sometimes it irritates my spirit to to see how people acting or thinking that they are that they are um, smarter than Yahweh Basham Yahushai. No, in the scriptures, it, it is written, the deceived and the deceiver are his. So I know that it's a part of the plan of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. But nevertheless, I'm dwelling in flesh, you know, so I just want to say a little thing on it, you know, because... That's the reason why our people perish, uh, basically most of the times, man. So I just want to restart this lesson by reading Ezekiel 18 verse 29. It says, Yet say the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. Or house of Israel are not my ways equal, are not your ways unequal. Because you, well, you, are, you, you people, you niggas, Latinos, and Native American, Indian, so-called, have to understand is that our people, we made a covenant with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? And we agreed that we was going to keep his sayings. And if we kept it not, then we were supposed to be cursed. That we, we were the ones that said, Amen. You know, we were the ones that agreed to it. So therefore, we are the situation that we are in. You know, it's that, that's, that's, um, his prophecy, you know, for the first part, his prophecy but we agreed to it, man. You understand? So, now is the time for us to, to repent. See, because Yahweh Bashem Yahshai's spirit is now in the earth. And he's pulling from among the, the, the masses of Jake, the elect. And if you can receive this engrafted word with meekness, then therefore the possibilities are that you are an Israelite and a part of the elect. And this is what we teach here at Great Millstone, starting from the apostles on down. Right? So it says, verse 30, Ezekiel 18, verse 30 says, Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways. Say the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruins. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit, for why will you die? O house of Israel, for I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, said the Lord Power. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. See, so that, that's, straight, that's, that's straight and to the point. This is the Lord saying, look, turn. See, because he knows that you're going to have to die once you go uh, 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 against his will. Yahweh said it best. He that, is not, he that is not with me is against me. That's what Yahweh Shai said because he, he came in the world to bring forth liberty unto his chosen. However, not all of these chosen people are, are his chosen. So, so, as I'm saying, if you can hear this word and fear and you repent and, and do it, you know, um, you know, get moving, man. Don't, don't, don't sit by and just, you know, just be there because, you know, you just, you can watch your videos or, you know, find whether you're a help, whether it's, do something to help further the ministry because, see, this thing is getting steamy, uh, steamy, uh, St more steamy, yeah? yeah? Seeing the other day, you know, Russia is in the news again, which, which you know, coming to this truth, the apostles been preaching, look, watch Russia and Iran. And you can see it happening right before our eyes. And and, and, and another thing, yeah? And another thing to be um, focusing at, remember the scripture says that when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. No, you can see where things are. Business has been opening up back and shit. So people thinking that this thing is going to come back to norm. No, this can be the very time where Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will bring that sudden destruction. You never know. So that means you have to be, you have to be ready at all times. Because you know not the whole when your Lord come. That's what the scripture says, right? See, and they, but, but Jake with Jake, it, you know, it's like to hell with the most side. That's the attitude, man. As as the brother Yashai would say, they are eaters of God, man. You know? 
loving their own belly, loving their own lies, loving the devil <laughs> that fathered them. And hating you how about Shemia or Shai? Because when you, when you teach these scriptures, man, you say uh, you're not supposed to eat pork. For example, you're not supposed to commit adultery. These things. Jake find all the necessary excuse, <laughs> you know, to basically justify themselves in doing their own wickedness. Thinking that they're smarter than the most high. And why do you think even um, the violence against women shit is being turned up? The queen of heaven worshipping um, is going down. Men um, destroying their loved ones or their partners. What do you think? There's a spirit the Lord putting in the earth. And you women, you're not even taking, uh, taking heed to learn from those mistakes. Why? Because you're like a hostage, man. You know, the buried in the sun. You're like the goddamn hostage. Second is just... So verse 20 says, For there be many that perish in this life, because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. For Yahweh had given strict commandments to such as came that they should do that they what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things. And uh, for the most part, our people just imagine vain things, man. You name if, if you're chasing the money, that's vain. The money, the money shit steam is getting heft, man. What are you chasing, women? Oh my gosh, man, that's that, that's a part of destruction. So what are you chasing? What 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 really? What are you chasing, man? See, you're grabbing off you 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 Israelite man. I'm speaking mostly to the men. You know, you you basically trying to hold on to thin here. And that's not possible, man. You're not the most high. Verse 23 says, And deceived themselves by their wicked deeds, and said of the most high that he is not and knew not his ways. But his law they have despised and denied his covenant. In his statutes they have not been faithful and have not performed his works. And therefore Ezra's for the empty are empty things and for the full are full things. He says, Behold, the time shall come that, the, that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass. And the bride shall appear, which is Yahawashai, uh, which is um, the elect. And she coming forth shall be seen um, that no is withdrawn from the earth. And, and the, the bride, you, you can clearly see that the, the dress is being put on on that bride. Spiritually, you know, um, Yahawashai is the bridegroom. See, and this word is that is that that precious garment, man. You know that, that the bride is putting on, you know, to to enter into that marriage with with Yahweh Shai, right? He says, "Behold, the time shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass, and the bride shall appear, and she coming forth shall be seen. That no is withdrawn from the earth, and whosoever is delivered from the force said evil shall see my wonders, man." Right? It says, for my son Yahawashai shall be revealed with those that be with him, and they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years. See, so, right now, man, you see, Yahawashai came 2,000 plus years ago, and, um, you know, he came back then to redeem us, man. He, he spilled his blood, and he was the, the unblemished lamb, you know. He did it for our people. He's, he's, he's elect, really, eventually for all Israel because it is written that all Israel shall be saved. But when he came, as I said, he came as a lamb back then. This time when Yahawashai comes, he's going to come as a, as a, as a God-like power. You know, because in, in um, Isaiah 47, he says he's not going to meet these wicked that is ruling the earth as a man. He's going to come back with his angelic forces, man. See, but guess what? A lot of you Israelites won't repent because that, that wasn't written in your programming. And we teach that, man. Re but remember these scriptures, man. Deuteronomy 9 verse 7 says, Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy power to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt until he came unto this place. And he have been rebellious against Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Even until this day, man, even until this day, our people, see, find all different. See, we, we, we come up and we, we, we speak against um, um, so-called white supremacy, but we, didn't, we don't 
speaking about taking up arms, you know, to go and fight the so called white man, and, you know. We, we, are, we are not like, uh, what's his name, Grandmaster J, uh, with the, what is, what is it called? NFACR, something like that. Being rebellious, man. We, we, don't, we don't support that shit. See, because in the scriptures, you know, the Lord said, you first have to bind the strong man. And it's not in our power to bind the strong man. But Yahweh Shai is going to bind the strong man. He's going to bring them down. That, that's the reason why his name is Yahweh Shai. Because he's going to deliver us, man. He's the deliverer. He's a savior. See, so why we want to take on that role unto ourselves? But, but, but come on, that's Jake for you, man. See, always trying to establish their own righteousness, but not submitting themselves to the righteousness of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Right? Verse 8, it says, Also in horror be provoked the Lord to wrath, so that the Lord was angry with you to have destroyed you when I was gone up into the mount to receive the tables of stones, even the tables of the commandments which the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, made with you. Then I have bowed in the mount forty days and forty nights, neither did I eat bread nor drink water. And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stones, written with the finger of the Most High, and on them was written, According to all the words which the Lord spake with you in the mount of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of the forty days and forty nights that the Lord gave me the two tables of stones, even the tables of the covenant. And the Lord said unto me, Arise, get thee down quickly from hence. For thy people which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt have corrupted themselves, they are quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them an molten image. And these people were, was actually seeing miracles, man. That was, that was us back then, you know, if, if we can receive it, because the scriptures do speak about reincarnation. But if you can receive it, See, you can imagine, man, we have the chariot, that huge, guy, gigantic, gigantic father craft above our heads, man, and we just being all wicked, man. You know, that, that's, that's heavy, bro. That's, that's where the fear of the Lord comes in, right? Yeah, verse 13 says, Furthermore, the Lord spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven and I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. Right? So I turned and came down from the mount and the mount burned with fire and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked and behold, he had sinned against the Lord your power and had made you a molten calf. He had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord Yahweh had commanded you, and I took the two tables and cast them out of my two hands and break them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord as at the first forty days and forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of your sins, which he sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and had this pleasure where with the Lord was wrought against you to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me that and that time also. Right? And, and it says, And the Lord was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him. And I prayed for Aaron also the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which he had made, and burnt it with fire and stamped it and and ground it very small, even until I say like yeah, even until it was as small as dust, and I cast the dust thereof into the brook and descend out of the mount. See? And you know, technically speaking, that's that's what we're doing, man. We 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 are praying for ourselves, but not for for ourselves, we're praying for the elect. You know? Cause we know that the Lord's anger is 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 hot. And he's going to show it, man. Who shall stand before the Lord in, at his coming, man, at, at, his, at his presence? Shall you stand before the Lord? Shall any, any of us stand before the Lord? We don't know. That's the reason why we give diligence to make our calling an election sure. And this is, this is not a thing of pride, you know. Seeing like what these various camps um, shows out there, you know, that they are all perfect, like. You know, carnally speaking. No, we are not perfect, carnally speaking, man. See, but we're trying to be perfect spiritually. 
that within our minds we have a conscience towards Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that we sin not or sin no more in the spirit. <laughs> you know, we, we work with the law of the spirit, man. That's what we work with, man. Basically, that's the point, you know. I, I can continue, but I know this phone's gonna be crying as shit for space, but nevertheless, I hope that this is an edifying one, Shalom.